Hey guys, I'm here with a wing update. So in my last video I mentioned I was designing the flaps next and I needed to figure out how I was going to control them. So I kind of settled on this system of U-joints and so in the middle here there's the control arm. This will lay flat inside the wing and there'll be a panel above it that swings open. And what you'll do is you'll lock it into this control gear here and then that'll let you control the extension of the flaps. I was originally going to um, separate the outboard and the inboard systems, but I realized once I built this, um, you know, that it was going to work to have them linked together, which is actually how they are on the plane, I believe. It just makes more sense to have one control for both flap systems. So again, the control arm is here in the middle and it will let you extend and retract the flaps. The way this works is, again, it's a system of U-joints. There's six of them, three on either side of the control arm. You can see the trailing edge of the wing here, so this is kind of where it's gonna be in relation to the wing structure. But these little um, pointer things show where it's gonna connect to the flap system. There are four points of connection. There are two for the outboard flaps here. Um, you can see that they line up with the flap fairings. So this is where the flap track is going to be. And then there are two on the inboard flap, one on the outboard edge and then one on the inboard edge that will actually sit underneath the cabin floor. You can see the windows here, so that's about where it's going to be. So what these U-joints do is they translate the motion along a kind of zigzag path from the control arm all the way out to the flap systems. I was a bit worried going into this that the um, motion wouldn't translate evenly across this whole control system um, because by the time you get all the way out to the edge here it's three joints removed from the control arm so I was worried that it wouldn't be completely synchronized and it's important that these two uh, control points be synchronized because otherwise the flap will get kind of skewed as it extends and that won't be good. So the motion on each needed to be perfectly matched. And it looks like I've been able to do that, so that's definitely a good thing. So this definitely gives me more confidence in how the flap systems will turn out. There's still a lot of work to do. I think that goes without saying. There's a lot of really complex stuff going on here, but at the very least, I am pretty sure I know how the flaps are going to be controlled. And there'll be other controls in this little kind of hatch area too. One for the spoilers, which will be linked together, and then one for the leading edge. And I have to design both of those systems, but that will be done once I get the flaps out of the way. So probably gonna be a while before I even really start thinking about those. But anyway, just wanted to give another update on the flap design. And uh, I realize this is a little more technical than what I normally do. But for those who are interested in the mechanics of the wing, hopefully you enjoy this video. Thanks.